Hello and welcome back to Pokemon White. Today on Pokemon White, we are going to be challenging the Elite for. Uh, since we last left off, I did do some training of my Pokemon. We are all level 48 except for one, who I think will unfortunately make way for Zekrom. Um, he served us well, but his services are no longer required, and that will in fact be Sneezy. Um, as I believe, you do get Zekrom before you fight Carrot and become the champion. So that leaves that slot open for Zekrom. Um, we have our other five, five um, Sia, Elton John, Wiggleworm, Quaxley and Eric at level 48, which is the same level as the minimum level Pokemon for the Elite Four. And we sh should be good to go from there, I think. Before we head in, I do have a little bit of shopping to do, as I'm not properly equipped to handle losing multiple Pokemon, I wouldn't have thought. So I will start off with some revives. I usually go about how much money have I got? I can go heaps. So we'll go 40 revives. Let's go 40 full restores. And I think that's all I need, isn't it? Ideally, I'd get stuff that recovers PP, but I don't think they ever sell them anywhere. So it's just what I've, I have got on me, which I don't know how much I do have on me. Um, but that's not my issue now, is it? So before we head in, I will give us a save, just in case I accidentally press P again, as happened in a previous episode. The Pokemon League is a place where you both pursue strength and express it. The way to express it is simple. You have to beat the Elite Four and the Champion. You can start your challenge by battling any of the Elite Four, and if you defeat them all, you can challenge the champion. However, I warn you, once you start your challenge, there's no turning back. You must keep battling until you defeat them all. Do you want to go in? Yes. Then proceed. Thank you. I'm fairly optimistic. I have... Oh, I haven't really gone into moves or anything, but I think... Because all the types, we've got Ghost, Dark, Psychic, and Dragon. So there's a few weaknesses that overlap one another, which should work in my favour. I want to equip this spell tag to Sia. I don't know that there's anything else I need in terms of held items. Boost dark type moves, we might give this to Elton John. Um, Everstone, Miracle Seed. Okay, so we'll give this to Wiggleworm to power up grass moves. And I think that'll be it. We don't have any... Actually, I do have a healing item, don't I? Shell Bell. Um, we can give that to Quaxley, maybe. Just to hold for the time being. Um, I think I want to start left to right. So from left to right, it's Ghost, Dark, Psychic, Fighting. So I think I want to start with Ghost. Um, I think we're pretty well equipped with both Sia and Elton John as type advantages. Um, I don't know the teams, I just know the levels. And that they're going to use two full restores each. Now the question is, do I want to leave it with Elton or Sia? I think I might go to with Elton John for the dark type matchup. And those two were both strong again in the psychic fight as well. So without further ado, let's get going, I think. Eyes brimming with dark flame, this man rejected everything other than himself in order to bring about one singular justice. That's part of a novel I'm writing. I was inspired by the challenger who was just here and somehow I got a little sad. Excuse me, you're a challenger, right? I'm the elite for ghost type Pokemon user Chantal and I shall be your opponent. I got a Pokemon card of her not too long ago. I think it was the Paradox Rift opening. I didn't know what game she was, but here she is apparently. Or it might have been um, Crown Zenith even. I don't recall, but here she is. Okay, so we've got Kofagogus to start us off. I think we just start with a foul play. Okay, that didn't do anywhere near as much as I thought it would, which is fine. Shadow Ball shouldn't do much because I believe Dark resists. And it does. Okay, we'll just continue with the foul play. And I think we're fine for heals. I don't think she's going to heal. And I'm fairly certain we will knock it out here. Oh, you're kidding. Okay, so she's going to heal now. Um, I think I've got to match it with my own heal. So let's go a full restore. Oh, I've used mine. So that's one. And is she going to use hers? That's the next question. Yes, she has. Okay. Um, let's go foul play again. We're back to square one now, except my stats have been compromised slightly, which may give her an advantage in terms of special defense being lowered. I'm not sure what's going to happen if I lower enough again. Yeah, we're stuck. And that's... Oh, this is slightly annoying. I'm going to go the foul play just in case she doesn't heal. And she has. That's all right because I can match it on the next turn. That's doing even less now, why is that? Um, let's just go a full restore, so we're two each. Um, this has gone surprisingly less 
smooth as I thought it would. I figured that Elton John would just carry through it pretty easily, but he is struggling slightly. I believe another Pokemon, I can't remember who has Crunch, unless it was Sneezy and I've got rid of him. It's fine, I can cope with it. will o -Wisp. might change to Sludge Bomb just to see what it does. Yeah, not effective at all. Okay, that's great. And I've poisoned it. Good, so I can get a Hex in with. See ya. At least. Um, thanks, Elton John. You really didn't do enough, to be honest. Who had the extra dark move? Okay, it was Eric. I can go Eric. Or I could have, I should have saved him for last, I think. Um, yeah, let's just go a crunch and get rid of this dude real quick. So we're one one each, one one. They've only got how many Pokemon do they have? Four. Go lurk. It's me when I wanna know what someone's doing on Go Lurk. As he is park ground, he's not gonna do anything because of Levitate, unless he smacks down. Okay, we could have started with it, Eric, I think. Wait, what happened to Levitate? Hello? What happened to Le What What ability has he got? Huh? Levitate. Oh, does he have the ability that makes everything hit or something? This is fine, because he should knock it out, which he has done. Your cheeky, Gala. Chandelure, which means we can use Quaxly, should um, Eric not survive this. We'll go a crunch. Okay, he has gone down. Um, yeah, so we'll go straight to Quagsley. Wiggleworm, I don't think we'll get a look in in this fight, which is fine. I uh, will just surf it up. One should do it, but I may need a second. Yeah, okay, that's fine. As long as it doesn't have thunder or something silly like that. Oh, that did a lot more than I thought it would too. Let's surf up again. And that's Chandelure gone. So we've got one more left. The level 48 of whatever else she's got. Jellison. Okay, so Wiggleworm could be necessary because this is Water Ghost. Actually, I think I will have to use Wiggleworm because this it's Water V Fire for Chandelure, isn't it? So that's fine. Brave Bird's Disabled, which isn't necessary because I'm going to lose to Recoil. Oh, we had a Shell Bell. I forgot about that. I don't think he survives the hit, though. No, he doesn't. So Wiggleworm's going to finish this off. I'm going to assume in one here. I feel we're about to turn the page on the epilogue of this story. And that's win number one for my venture through the Elite Four here. Thank you very much, Wiggleworm. She said I'm amazing and she's envious of my amazingness and thinks Carrot doesn't stand a chance. So it didn't go as I thought it would. Um, we can heal up and all that too. Let's roll it on through to the Dark Trainer. I believe their name is Grimsley, which is definitely a Dark Trainer sort of name. I better not fart passing one of these torches or else I might burn the whole place down. Oh, double on the sides here. Come on. Here we go. Yes. Love your work, Rimsley. Man, oh man, what is going on today? Challenges is coming one after another. Well, no matter, I am Grimsley of the Elite Four and I will fulfill my duty to beat your opponent. Grimsley. Scrafty, which is fighting. Fighting Dark, I believe, isn't it? That's fine. Um, because Brick Rate should still be super effective on it. Do I want to swap Elton John now? Is the question. I might change to Quaxley. I think I changed to Quaxley here because I don't want to lose Elton John because he's my only counter. Unless Poison is strong against Dark, I can't remember. But Quaxley can take it out with a Brave Bird fairly easily here. There we go. One down. Experience in both camps, Crocodile, which means we could surf this one up, um, being a dark ground type. Foul play is fine. One hit, knockout. See you later, Crocodile. That should be a level up for Quaxley. If not, he's going to be just sure. Bit of HP back from the Shell Bell. Oh, that's an easy level up on your Quaxley. I didn't expect him to do much in the Elite Four, but he's proving to be quite necessary so far. Lipard is our third opponent. Um, I might just go a Brave Bird. Oh, actually, I'm going to flinch here from a fake out. That's fine. Um, so the Brave Bird might knock me out if I can even get one in. I don't think I survive this. No, I don't. So I think we just straight swap back to Elton. And then we continue brick breaking the last two. And hopefully the other three aren't needed at all. Aerial Ace shouldn't do much. Oh, that's not ideal. Um, if I go again, he will heal. This will burn both of his heals, I think. Unless I can get a crit and just straight knock it out. Not quite. Okay, that's fine. He's going to heal again. Um, so I'm, I might as well just keep brick breaking, I think. There's no reason to do anything else other than brick break. Actually, I probably should have used one of these turns to at least counter a heal with my own. Um, I'll just go brick break again. It'll be interesting to see what he finishes with here. Be sharp. Okay, that's four times weakness. And then we've at least got Sia as a counter. Hopefully, we go first. Or survive to knock it out. Brick break. Here we go. This should... Just about do it, I reckon. Whoa, you're kidding. That's fine. X-Scissors, not... I mean, it, I've said it before. It is super effective. That's all right. Um, I want to go something that speed matches Elton John. 
107, 103, use fainted, wiggle worm, or Eric. So I'll go wiggle worm, and I'll just use whatever, because that ends the battle and saves Sia. We've done what we need to do. That's two from four, with no losses of yet. And right now, you and your Pokemon are shining brilliantly. No, that's just all these candles you got, mate. So we're on to Caitlyn now, the top right here. This should be the psychic side. Yeah, it looks like it. Anyway, I'm gonna say that a psychic person will levitate me up like this and not the fighting dude. Who are we? Oh, hello. Caitlyn, is it? What are you doing in your bed? It's not time for sleep. It's time for fight. Let's just start with Elton John, I reckon. I think he's gonna be a good counter. He goes, nothing like this. Who are you? How impudent you are to disturb my sleep. Is that all you do up here is sleep? <laughs> You appear to possess a combination of strength and kindness very well. Make your best effort not to bore me with a yawn-inducing battle, clear? I mean, the sentiment's mutual. She's seriously yawn emojiing me. Challenged by Elite Four, Caitlyn, Reuniclus. Imagine using a Reuniclus. How boring is that? Focus Blast? That's a fighting move, isn't it? Yes, it is. That's okay. I was not expecting that, which is fine. At least I'm going to tell myself it's fine. As we bring out Eric, who's got a crunch. Crunch. Come on, knock it out. Perfect. One down. One H. Scores a level. I'm starting to think Foul Play wasn't the best move for this particular gym. Sigilith. Uh, which means we could go electric. Let's go a spark and see what it does. Nice. And then we'll go a crunch because of the accuracy. Okay, she's restored already. I wasn't expecting that. We'll just match it. Um, we'll spark again. And hopefully he survives this hit. Please survive it. Yes, one health. That's all you need to do. Oh, I can't believe it. What are the odds? And a crit just to make sure of it. Eric, you're a star, mate. Eric the eel to the rescue. Mushana, that's fine. Because we are going to take the opportunity to immediately restore health on our boy Eric. Mushana is slow, so I could have gone a crunch, but I'm not sure if I could have guaranteed the hit. Charge Beam? Why would you go Charge Beam? That's bizarre, but uh, increased special attack maybe? Is it necessary? Okay, that's one. Psychic. Let's see what this does. Yeah, still not much. Um, let's go a crunch, and hopefully it flinches or crits. Shadow Ball. Yeah, okay, I was expecting that. Um, I'm gonna go see her. Um, she's gonna heal, because she's still got one in the bank. I'm gonna Will-O-Wisp for the burn, and go Hexes. And Hex is double damage plus whatever the Hex bonus does, which knocks it out. That's what we like to see, see ya. You've done less than I thought you would, but you've carried when necessary. Gothitelli is our final one. Spell tag, that's fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a Will-O-Wisp, so at least we've got burn damage ticking. Should see a... Oh, that's not what I wanted to see. Okay, that's fine. She's just stat affecting moves. Right, let's try again. You need to hit the Will-O-Wisp. Good, calm mind. Look, if you're just gonna keep going that, I'm gonna go a Hex, and the Hex is gonna hit hard. At least I think it will, because special defense. All right, let's find out, shall we? So yeah, this takes you down. Yep, how's that for a bit of damage? This will be gone, I expected that. And it doesn't matter who I go here, because I'm, well, it's gonna faint to burn. So let's go Wiggle Worm for some levels on Wiggle Worm. Uh, we'll just chuck in another strength, I reckon. And that'll be three down out of four, one to go. See you later, Gothitelli. See you later, Caitlin. You can go back to bed now, you dumb, dumb head. Go ahead, thank you. I should be able to sleep in the bed for a free heal. Okay, so that's the heals done. Final trainer is fighting time. Um, his name is Marshall. I will we'll be using Fly for the most part until it looks like he's about to go down and then I'll chuck in a brave bird and we'll see how far that gets us along. Up the little spirally thing we go on a... It's a mine card, I think. Or the boxing ring. Here we go. Bring it on, dude. Who do you think you are, Matt? Oh, lights on. Greetings, challenger. My name is Marshall. In order to master the art of fighting, I'm training under my mentor, Elder. My mentor sees your potential as a trainer is taking an interest in you. It is my intention to test you, to take you to the limits of your strength. Kiai! Or something. I don't know. Has he got blue teeth? Or is it a mouth guard? Why has he got mouth guard on his bottom teeth? What's your deal, Marshall? Alright, throw it. Let's just start us off with a fly. Up you go, Quaxley. Stone Edge. No chance, mate. Okay, that didn't do enough, and he avoided the attack. Perfect. Um, I think I'll just go a fly again, because I don't want to risk missing or not knocking him out, which then means he damages me with a rock slide or gets a heal, or both. And he didn't even use rock slide in the end, so 
it didn't matter. Although, had I used another move, you both would have survived and used Rock Slide and knocked him out. Sork will just do the same again. Oh, he's gone first. Okay, that's fine because we've got the Shell Belt. No, it's not fine, actually. Um, this might be a bit of an issue. Let's go see ya. And we'll Flame Burst it. Oh, Stone Edge too, I forgot. That it... He just used Stone Edge, didn't he? How'd I forget? Um, that's fine. Oh, there's no point in healing, because he's just going to use it again. Change of strategy. We'll go a Wiggle Worm. Let's go a Leaf Blade. Hopefully this knocks him out. Good. Oh, I was getting concerned there. Um, who else? Mian Chao. These are all just straight up fighting types, aren't they? Level 50 Mian Chao. Oh, nearly knocked it out in one hit. Miss, miss, miss. Nah. Damn. Okay, so he's going to heal no matter what, so I'm going to match that heal with my own. Because he hasn't used either of his yet. And I think we just go the same again. I didn't realise Grass Blade hits as hard as it does. This is amazing. Leaf Blade, not Grass Blade. Same thing. Oh, U-turn. Okay, ouch. Uh, that only did half damage. Let's see what else he's got. Conkledur. He's not part stone, is he? He's just fighting too, I think. Let's just go on another Leaf Blade. Mm, hammer Arm. Survive Wiggle Worm. Okay, that's not what I wanted to see. The speed fell, so I might go Elson John. And we'll see how we can go with him. Let's go a Bulldoze. Please hit. Oh, that really didn't do much at all, did it? And he's going to not fare well here either. Nah, I might be in trouble here, I think. Come on, Eric, it's up to you, buddy. Let's go a Spark. I don't even think having Sneezy around would do me any good because he's weak. Okay, he's avoided that, which is fine. He's going to heal. We'll go a Thunder Wave. And I've still got one in the bank. I'm just going to have to spark, I think. Come on, Eric. Keep avoiding if you can. Speed fail, which is not going to help me too much. Come on, avoid it. Avoid it. Avoid it. No. Damn it. Okay, I'm going to have to heal here again. He needs to avoid one. Otherwise, I'm just screwed, no matter what. Yes, paralyzed. I've got to do that. All right, spark again. We're back in front here because of that paralysis. That was huge. Paralyzed again. Coming in clutch here, Eric. Oh, if I can pull this off, this will be an all-time great finish. Now, the question here is, do I paralyze? Because this Mian Shao is at half health already. I don't think the paralysis is necessary. I think I just attack. Don't do a lot, please. Okay, that's about half. Oh, come on. It's down to this. Whoever hits wins. I want to make sure Spark's 100% hit. It is. Come on, Eric. It's all or nothing here. Jump kick. Don't. Oh, that's disappointing. Oh, no. Oh, I can't believe it. We were so close to absolutely stealing that. Like, I did not deserve to win that at all. And that's how close I got. Oh, that was... Hugely unlucky. And I, I needed Sneezy in the end, didn't I? Sneezy would have... Actually, I think the Mian Shao would have gone first and just knocked him out in one hit anyway. So I don't think Sneezy would have made a difference there at all. <laughs> Damn it. I think I'm just going to pause this. I'll fight the first three again and we'll be back here.